Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and whichever time you're watching this, welcome to SSC and welcome to SSC Presents Current Affairs Quiz Show, in which we shall be discussing 30 important MCQs in quiz format, uh, discussing the current affairs of third week of December 2022. So let us proceed. Let's take a brief overview of this session. First of all, we shall have 30 MCQs in quiz format, and then we shall have eight homework questions, and then we shall have 30 bonus questions, important dates, persons in news, places in news countries in news and at the end important news so let us proceed there are total of 30 mcqs at the end of its mcq you will be given a 10 seconds timer during which you can answer in the comment box or in the live chat box during the premiere and you get 10 seconds to answer and please tell your scores at the end that how much do you get out of 30 so let's begin i request everyone to participate in the quiz so the first question okay the answer got revealed to the first question only which state is the host of india water impact summit iwis 2022 it's new delhi so the first marks bonus for you so new delhi uh, will be hosting india water impact summit as uh, inaugurated by jal sakti uh, gajendra sekhawat okay uh, like it is it has already hosted it's it's on 15th to 17th december and you need to remember the theme the theme is restoration and conservation of small rivers in the large basin i repeat restoration and conservation of small rivers in the large basin more details in the screen as well as on the pdf let's proceed to the next question so second question is indo nepal joint exercise which is surya kiran okay joint training exercise surya kiran began at nepal army battle school it was which edition this year options are there and your time begins now which edition of Surya Kiran was this? Surya Kiran is a bilateral exercise between India and Nepal. It was which edition? The time is over. The correct answer to this question is 16th edition. So the 16th edition of Indo-Nepal joint training exercise, which is Surya Kiran 16 became, uh, between India and Nepal. It, uh, it was conducted uh, between Nepal and India in Nepal Army Battle School in uh, Sir Sal Jhandi in Nepal, okay, from 16th to 29th of December. So, this is it. More details on the screen. Let's proceed to the next question. Which company became the official partner of FIH Udisha Hockey Men's World Cup 2023? Options are there, and your time begins now. FIH Udisha Hockey Men's World Cup 2023. Which company became the official partner? The correct answer is B, that is Tata Steel. So, Tata Steel is the official partner of uh, FIH, that is International Hockey Federation uh, Men's Hockey World Cup 2023. Okay, so this is it. This will be the 15th edition of uh, this World Cup and it will be happening in Bhubaneswar and Rorkela, that is in India, Odisha in 2023. Okay, so remember the venue as well. Remember the edition, 15th edition. And when with, will it be happening? It will be happening in 2023. And Tata Steel is the uh, partner company. So hope this is clear. Let's go to the next question. Which country has launched the surface water and ocean topography, that is SWOT spacecraft? Options are there and your time begins now. Swoot spacecraft, United States, Russia, Israel, or China. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is United States of America. So, which is uh, NASA, which is the United Nations, uh, United States uh, Apex Space Organization. Okay, NASA. Uh, full form is National Aeronautics and Space Administration. It has launched the earth science satellite to track nearly all the water on the earth surface and the name of the spacecraft that is uh, surface water and ocean topography okay this is the name of the spacecraft so hope it is clear let's go to the next question indian origin leader leo varadkar has been elected as the prime minister of which country options are there and your time begins now leo varadkar has been elected as pm of which country sri lanka ireland Singapore or Maldives? The correct answer to this question is Ireland. Ireland, whose capital is Dublin, currency is Euro. And uh, the new, new or uh, like the second time 
Prime Minister is Leo Varadkar of Ireland and he is of Indian origin. Okay, so hope this is clear. Let's go to the next question. Before moving forward, uh, if you want the PDF of this session as well as all the sessions in SSC Sikkim covering state, national, international current affairs, it will cost you 400. What do you get in 400? You get past one year Sikkim current affairs, past six months national, international current affairs, Sikkim current affairs, 400 plus MCQs from January to September. Soon I'm releasing October, November, December as well. Past year Sikkim GK solved and all further current affairs sessions and important topics PDF for the next three months. All this for a meager cost of rupees 400. You can WhatsApp to this number. Let's proceed to the next question. Who won the title of Mrs. World 2022? Important options are there and your time begins now. Mrs. World 2022. Sargam Kossil, Celine Ford, Aditi Govitrikar or Caroline Juri? The correct answer is Sargam Kossil. So she is from India and she has been awarded with Mrs. World's Beauty Pageant uh, title. Okay, so she is the winner of Mrs. World Beauty Pageant. So this is it. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Silene Ford of United States was the previous winner of this competition. Okay, and she crowned uh, this Mrs. World crowd to Sargam Kossil. So hope it's clear. Kossil is a native of Jammu and Kashmir and she is a content writer and painter in addition to being a model okay so let's go to the next question in which city did prime minister modi launched the grih pravesh program grih pravesh program options are there and your time begins now grih pravesh program Gartala, ahmedabad kohima or as well The correct answer to this question is Agartala. Okay, Agartala, I think everyone knows it's the capital of Tripura. Okay, and PM Modi started the Griha Pravesh program in Agartala for around 2 lakh Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Urban and Rural Scheme Beneficiaries. So, Griha Pravesh for this uh, PM Awas Yojana, at, okay, so like around 2 lakh people has been benefited in Tripura for this PM Awas, both urban and rural scheme. And for this, a Griha Pravesh program was organized in. Uh, Agatala, which is the capital city of Tripura. Okay, so this is it. More details on the screen. Let's go to the next question. What is India's rank in 2022 Global Food Security Index? Very important. Options are there and your time begins now. 67th, 68, 69 or 70. <coughs> Global Food Security Index. The correct answer is 68th. So first of all, you need to uh, know that Global Food Security Index, it's released by whom? It's released by British Weekly, that is The Economist. Okay, so Economist, The Economist is the British Weekly, uh, which releases this uh, Global Food Security Index. And this was 11th edition of this report. Okay, and uh, in this, uh, the India's rank is 68th. Uh, last year in 2021, India was ranked at 71st position. Okay, as you can see here so india's rank was 71st in global food security index 2021 okay and this year india's rank is 68th okay so hope it's clear let's go to the next question the next question who became the most written about athlete in 2022 most written about athlete your time begins now neeraj chopra cristiano ronaldo pt usa or Virat Kohli, most written about athlete. The correct answer is Neeraj Chopra. By the most written about, we mean that like the most searched about. Okay, we can also talk like that. And according to the World Athletics, uh, Tokyo Olympic gold medalist, uh, Javelin Thrower, everyone knows, right? So Neeraj Chopra. So Neeraj Chopra has displaced Zawaikan legend Usain Bolt from the top list. Okay, so before this, Usain Bolt was in the top list. Okay, that is, he was the most written about athlete. And now, Neeraj Chopra has replaced the American legend Usain Bolt. So, hope it's clear. And this data is collected by media analysis company, and the name of the company is Uniceptor. Okay, it was cited by World Athletics. Okay, so Uniceptor was the company. So, hope it's clear. Neeraj Chopra, the most written about athlete in 2022. Let's proceed to the next question. Who has won Women's FIH Nations Cup 2022? Options are there, and your time begins 
Now, Indian women's hockey team, Spanish women's hockey team, Japanese women hockey team, or Australian women's hockey team. The correct answer to this question is our very own Indian women's hockey team. It was led by Captain Savita Punya and it has beaten Spain. Okay, so Spain was the runner up country, and uh, in the final, uh, India has beaten Spain to win the inaugural FIH Nations Cup. So it was the first edition of Nations Cup in hockey. Okay, so it was played in Spain at Valencia. So hope it's clear. The winning goal was scored by Gurjit Kaur of India. So this inaugural FIS Nations Cup was held in Valencia, Spain from 11th to 17th of December 2022. So the winner is Indian hockey team. Let's proceed to the next question. Raitu Bandhu is a flagship scheme of which Indian which Indian state of Union territory? Raitu Bandhu. It's an old scheme. Recently it was in news. So I think everyone knows it. Raitu Bandhu. Telangana, Goa, MP or Karnataka. The correct answer to this question is Telangana. Okay, so the Raitu Bandhu initiative is implemented by Telangana state, and through this state, uh, through this scheme, the government provides agricultural investments to the farmer at the rate of ten thousand per acre. Okay, rupees ten thousand per acre for both the Kharif and Rabi seasons. More details on the screen. Let's proceed to the next question. Raitu Bandhu, Telangana. What is the name of fifth scorpion submarine of Project Seventy Five? Fifth Scorpion submarine. Options are there and your time begins now. INS Kalavari, INS Khandiri, INS Wazir or INS Kharanj. Fifth Scorpion submarine of Project 75. The correct answer to this question is INS Vagir. Okay, and more important is uh, remember the class, uh, it's Kalavari class. Okay, so Kalavari class, INS Vagir of Project 75. It was handed to the Indian Navy on. 20, uh, 20th of December 2022. Hope it's clear. Let's proceed to the next question. Which country is the host of United Nations Biodiversity Conference whose name is COP15? Options are there and your time begins now. United Nations Biodiversity Conference COP15. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Canada. Okay, Canada has hosted United Nations Biodiversity Conference. So this is it. Uh, it was held in Montreal, Canada, and gov governments from across the world gathered to agree on a new set of environmental targets for the next decades. And the more important thing to be known here is uh, negotiators and United Nations Biodiversity Conference struck at an agreement to invest. 200 billion dollars in biodiversity assistance by 2030 so remember this deadline okay by the year 2030 the this uh, united nations will invest 200 billion dollars for biodiversity assistance so it's a good news let's proceed to the next question according to peta india who grabbed the person of the year title options are there and your time begins now the full form of PETA is uh, People for Ethical Treatment of Animals. Okay, so it's basically related to animal welfare. So who grabbed the person of the year title? The correct answer to this question is Sonakshi Senha. So she has been awarded PETA India's 2022 person of the year title. Uh, her actions have helped save the lives of many animals killed for fashion, but her strong advocacy for dog and cat rights earned her the title so more details are on the screen let's proceed to the next question who has been crowned as itf world champion 2022 in men's category options are there and your time begins now yeah. mike brian novak Djokovic, rafael nadal or steffi graf international tennis federations world champion 2022 men's category the correct answer is Rafael Nadal, who is from Spain. I think everybody knows he has been named as the Men's International Tennis Federation's World Champion 2022 for the fifth time after an outstanding 2022 session. Previously, also, he has been named for 2008, 2010, 2017, and 2019. And talking about women's category, Iga Swiatek, who is a Polish tennis player from Poland, she has been named as the uh, women's uh, champion in ITF World Champions 2022. So, uh, Iga Swiatek from women category and Rafael Nadal in men's category. Hope it's clear. Let's proceed to the next question. 
okay the question got repeated uh, yeah the question got repeated so you got sweating let's go to the next question what is the name of country's first green steel brand launched by jyotiraditya sindhya options are there and your time begins now country's first green steel brand jyotiradit uh, launched by jyotiraditya sindhya who is aviation minister i think everyone knows the correct answer to this question is kalyani farista okay kalyani farista is the first green steel brand launched by steel minister jyotiraditya is also the steel minister and uh, it was launched by him in new delhi in december 21 2020 so jyotiraditya sindhya who is a uh, union minister of steel and union minister of uh, civil aviation so hope it's clear let's go to the next question the das sub variant very very important question the das sub variant of omicron that is prevalent in china is thought to be the cause of the present spike in covid-19 infections so which sub variant of omicron is the question that's prevalent in china which is the cause of present spike in covid-19 infections bf2 bf7 bf14 or bf22 the correct answer is bf7 which is the new covid variant the sub variant of omicron okay so it's prevalent in china and it's thought to be the cause of present spike in covid-19 infections so hope it's clear more details on the screen let's proceed to the next question which indian movie song has been shortlisted as the best song category at oscar 2022 okay nominated for best song category natu natu kesariya varah roopam or manike manike means manike mage hite was a song but no it was i think a sri lankan song so d is ruled out right so a b c r option the correct answer to this question is natu natu okay natu natu its hindi version was nacho nacho i guess okay so it's from the movie rrr and uh, this song that is natu natu has been shortlisted for the best song category at oscars 2022 okay nominated so, and uh, the more important thing is it is the first indian song to be uh nominated for academy awards okay that is for the oscar so it's become the first indian song to be nominated for an academy award so hope it's clear let's proceed to the next question which institution released 2022 in nine charts report okay 2022 in nine charts reports and your time begins now options are there international energy alliance unep world bank or international monetary fund the correct answer to this question is world bank okay world bank it has released 2022 nine charts report uh, and it, it this report says that the world is experiencing its most significant decline since 1970 and 685 million people may be living in severe property by the end of 2022 so i hope it's clear let's proceed to the next question the next question is which athlete has been nominated to the vice chairman panel in rajya sabha the options are there and your time begins now pt usha hima das neerat chopra or anu rani which athlete has been nominated to the vice chairman panel in rajya sabha the correct answer to this question is pt usha so recently pt usha has been uh, nominated to the panel of vice chairman uh, in rajya sabha by the chairman who is jagdeep dhankar who is also the vice president so pt usha uh, pt usha has also been recently appointed as the uh, president of indian olympic association ioe okay so more details on the screen let's proceed to the next question the next question is who has been appointed as the new chief of new delhi international arbitration center the options are there and your time begins now justice yu yu lalit justice hemant gupta justice r subhas reddy and justice jitendra veer gupta the correct answer to this question is justice hemant gupta okay so he is the new chief of new delhi international arbitration center abbreviated as ndiac and why this was formed it was formed to develop an independent and autonomous framework for institutionalized arbitration okay so it's important let's proceed to the next question which indian documentary film has been shortlisted for the documentary short film category in oscar 2023 so in the short film category which 
film has been shortlisted. All that breeds the elephant whisperers, the last film show or nothing in loss. So the correct answer to this question is elephant whisperers. So the elephant whisperer, it has been directed by Karteki Gonsalves and it has been shortlisted in the best documentary short film category. Okay, so Karteki Gonsalves directed film, which is the elephant whisperer for best documentary short film category in total there are four indian films which has been nominated in the different categories in oscar so in the short films category is the elephant whisperer and if we talk about in the documentary feature film category it's all that breaks the first option okay and the last uh, show that is i think uh, the cello show okay which we have seen it has been uh, uh, nominated for uh, best feature film category okay so this is it so best uh, feature film category the last film so the cello so okay it's a gujarati film uh, we have seen it and uh, in the documentary film category it's all that breeds and in the short film category which is the answer to this question it's the elephant whisperers so this is it let's go to the next question the country's first infantry museum has been opened in which state okay the answer got revealed the correct answer to this question is madhya pradesh okay so the country's first infantry museum has been opened in madhya pradesh okay so more details on the screen let's go to the next question uh before this uh, this museum is the first in the country okay first infantry museum in the country and the second in the world okay and before this such a museum has been built only in uh, america so this is it let's go to the next question which government has launched orundoy 2.0 scheme orundoy 2.0 scheme i think this everybody knows because orundoy is an old scheme and now the 2.0 version of orundoy scheme has been relaunched and the correct answer is assam okay uh, assam chief minister who is uh himant Bishwa Sarma, he has launched the second version of orundoy uh, which is a flagship scheme a scheme of state government it aims at providing financial security to financially disadvantaged family okay so this is it next what is the name of submarine watercraft launched by indian navy at the ship building facility of lnt in chennai's Kathupal. the options are there and your time begins now the name of submarine watercraft ins Talai, ins arnal ins makar or ins ds the correct answer to this question is ins arnal okay it's the first of eight indigenously built at anti-submarine warfare shallow watercraft at the ship building facility of lnt in chennai's kathipul okay it has been launched there so hope it's clear it has been built by grsc which is garden ridge shop building and engineers its headquarter is in kolkata okay so this is it let's go to the next question who is the winner of blind t20 world cup 2022 uh, blind t20 world cup 2022 options are there and your time begins now india bangladesh sri lanka or australia the correct answer to this question is india okay so india is the winner of blind t20 world cup 2022 more details on the screen uh, this uh, they has defeated bangladesh and the venue was chinna swami stadium in bangalore okay india so hope it's clear the uh, captain of this team was ajay kumar reddy okay ajay kumar reddy was the captain of indian team next question which female wrestler has been nominated for united world wrestling rising star of the year honor okay united world wrestling Rising star of the year honor, Ansu Malik, Vinesh Fogart, Saksi Malik, and Tim Panghal. So, all these are wrestlers, and the female wrestler nominated for Rising Star of the Year honor by United World Wrestling is Antim Panghal. Okay, Antim Panghal, as he has been nominated. Let's go to the next question. Who has been appointed as the next ambassador of India to Saudi Arabia? Options are there, and your time begins now next ambassador of india to saudi arabia sanjay singh nipendra mr saeed akbaruddin or dr suhel azaz khan the correct answer to this question is dr suhel azaz khan he is an ifs official from 1997 batch and he is the currently uh, the ambassador of india to lebanon republic of lebanon and he has been selected as the next ambassador of india to the kingdom of saudi Arabia and he will take over Dr. Osif Saeed. So this is clear. Let's go to the next question. And the last question, who won Sahitya Academy Award for Literature 2022 for the novel 
Kala Pani. Options are there and your time begins now. It's important. Sahitya Academy Award for Literature 2022 for the novel Kala Pani. M. Rajendran, Namita Gokhli, Amit Chaudhary or Babin Bhattacharya. The correct answer is M. Rajendra, option A, and the award has been given by the central government for the best literature of every year. And accordingly, the central government has announced the Sahitya Academy Award for, lit uh, award for Literature on 22nd of December. And uh, writer M. Rajendra, he is from Tamil Nadu, he has received this award for his novel Kala Pani. Okay, so the cash prize given to him is 1 lakh rupees and a copper seat. The Kala Pani novel is a historical novel based on the war of uh, Kalayar Kovil or Kalayarkur. Okay, so this is clear. So with this, we complete all the questions of quiz. I hope you scored uh, well in uh, out of this 30. I think two or three questions, the answers were revealed. So three, two or three bonus marks for you. So now let us proceed to the uh, homework questions. Okay, there are eight homework questions to be discussed. So homework question. The first question, which state will host first ever World Table Tennis Series event in India 2022? Options are there. Rock cut sculptures and reliefs of Unakoti, which was added in the UNESCO's tentative list of World Heritage Site, are in which state? Okay, it's tentative list and it's in which state? Rock cut sculpture and relief of Unakoti. Who has been appointed as the head of New Delhi International Arbitration Center? I think we just got this question in quiz only. It is it's uh, Justice Hemant Gupta. Okay, so this answer I told you. Next. Which company has got approval from central government for nasal vaccines in India? Options are there. Which union ministry organizes AIP Charcha, that is AI dialogue event? I think it's obvious. Options are there. Which state of union territory has recently granted industry status to its tourism sector? Options are there. Which state has approved the warehousing and logistic policy 2022 recently? Options are there. And which league surpassed $10 billion valuation? and become a decacon options are there i think it's also obvious okay so with this we complete homework questions please write the answers okay if you know it right right now and even if you don't know it just search all these answers and come back to the comment box of this video to write down the answers okay so it will be beneficial for all others as well so bonus questions we have 32 bonus questions ministry of agriculture partnered with which department to develop Chrissy decision support scheme Chrissy dss the correct answer is department of space the options are there uh, sorry the details are there in the screen okay next chief justice of india uh, dy chandrachur he has inaugurated 10 district court digitization hubs dcds in which state uh, the correct answer to this question is odisha more details on the screen who is hosting 13th world trade organization ministerial meeting in 2024 the correct answer to this question is UAE. Okay, so UAE is the answer. More details on the screen. Bepur Uru is a flaxin product of which state? Flaxin product of which state? Bepur Uru. It's of Kerala. Okay, Bepur Uru means a boat. Okay, name of the famous boat, Bepur Uru, and it it's applied. It has applied for geographical indication tag. Okay, so this is it. Youthco dot lab. That is youth innovation movement. Is is an initiative of Atal Innovation Mission of which institution? Options are there. The correct answer to this question is UNDP. Okay, it's an initiative of uh, UNDP and AIM, Atal Innovation Mission. UNDP, its headquarter is in New York and United Nations Development Program. I think full form everybody knows. So this is it. Okay, it was the fifth edition. Next question. United Nations uh, has ranked which project among world's top 10 initiative? The correct answer to this question is Namami Gange. Okay, Ganga Rejuvenation Initiative. Namami Gange. It's all among the world's top 10 initiative. It's the uh, world's top 10 restoration flagship program. Okay, next. India has successfully carried out trials of nuclear capable Agni 5 missile conducted from APJ Abdul Kalam Island of the Witch Coast. The correct answer is Udisha Coast. More details on the screen. ICMR NARFBR, which means National Animal Resource Facility for Biomedical Research. It has been it has been inaugurated in which city? The correct answer is Hyderabad. Okay, it has been inaugurated in Hyderabad. Which institution has adopted a plan for a global minimum 15% tax on multinational businesses? The correct answer to this question is European Union. Okay, European Union. Uh, more details on the screen. 
which team has won FIFA World Cup 2022? I think it's obvious. Argentina. Details on screen. Okay, Argentina has beat defeated France. Okay, uh, for this we have uh, done a separate session also. Uh, by the name of FIFA quiz in SSC second. So you can watch that session. I have covered almost all the probable MCQs which can come in exam from FIFA World Cup. Okay, around uh, 25 MCQs are there. So please have a look at this session. At that session, let's proceed to the next question. Who has been awarded the Golden Ball Award in FIFA World Cup 2022? This also everybody knows. It's Lionel Messi. Okay, Golden Ball Award. So this is it, a man of the tournament, Lionel Messi. India ranked which in globally in publication of scientific paper what is the rank of india in uh, publication of scientific papers globally the correct answer is third rank okay india has ranked third globally in the number of phds produced annually okay so this is it uh, union minister nitin gatkari has launched one of india's first ever surety bond insurance product with which organization it's with bazaar's alliance okay bazaar's alliance next who took over the general of, officer commanding of uh, GOC of counter in, insurgency force, uh, whose name is Kilo? So the GOC of Kilo is Mohit Seth. More details on the screen. Sela Pass Tunnel, which was seen in news recently, it's located in which state? It's in Arunachal Pradesh. Okay, it's in Arunachal Pradesh. It it has been it is built by bro to provide all weather connectivity to china border in arunachal pradesh okay it has been built at the height of thirteen thousand feet so this is it next which government has launched friends of library program the correct answer is tamil nadu more details on the screen indian navy's uh, which sailboat will participate in 58th edition of cape town to rio race 2023 the correct answer is ins Tarini, okay, INS Tarini will be participating. Next, which is the only university in India to get a get an A grade by NAC? Options are there, and the correct answer to this question is Guru Nanak Dev University, which in Amritsar, Punjab, it has received an A grade after obtaining 3.85 points in the NAC grading, and the full form of NAC is National Assessment and Accreditation council okay so i hope it's clear and this university is the first university to get a grade by max so very important next ministry of housing and urban affairs it has won which award in digital india awards 2022 the correct answer is platinum icon award okay platinum icon award has been given to ministry of housing and urban affairs which country has launched a group of friends to promote accountability for crime against peacekeepers the correct answer is India. Okay, so India has created a group of friends to pursue accountability for atrocities against peacekeepers. Okay, so this is it. Next, the Cuming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework, that is uh, Cuming Montreal GBF, it has 23 targets and it, uh, for the world. Okay, and its need to be achieved by which year? The correct answer is 2030. Okay, 2030. So this is it next according to finance ministry's latest report what is india's gdp growth in the first half of 22-23 the correct answer is 9.7 percent in the first half of 22-23 more details on the screen which indian movie has been shortlisted for international feature film film category in oscars 2023 i think this everybody knows it's cello so i just discussed also okay in the feature film category it's the movie is cello so and uh, we just saw that in the uh, documentary or uh, in the short film category we saw that mm, i just forgot the name the elephant something was there no so, and uh, the breathe or something was there for in the documentary film category okay so please see the previous mcq we just discussed that next which country is the host of special negotiation around on three of the four pillars of indo-pacific economic framework ipef in february 2023 the correct answer is india okay so india will be hosting next special uh, negotiation round of three of the four pillars of uh, UN led India Pacific Economic uh, Forum IPEF. Okay, it has four pillars. IPEF has four pillars which are trade, supply chain, tax, and anti corruption and clean energy. And uh, out of these four pillars, India has uh, been opted out for trade pillar. Okay, India is not, India has not opted for trade pillar. And for all, all other three pillars, the special negotiation round will be hosted by. India in February. Okay, so this is it. What is total amount raised by government through disinvestment and strategic sale of PAC? 
that is public sector enterprises since 2014 the correct answer is 4.04 lakh crores okay through disinvent to disinvestment this amount has been raised by the government since 2014 4 lakh crore vijay divas celebrated in uh, india to mark the victory of das liberation war i think everybody knows it's bangladesh liberation war okay it was on 16th of december 1971 uh bangladesh was liberated so more details on the screen okay so vijay divas next which institution released the report titled coal 2022 analysis and forecast to 2025 the correct answer is international energy agency okay iea it published research title coal 2022 analysis and forecast to 2025 uh, can anyone tell that where is the headquarter of iea please write down in the comment box next What is the name of P15B stealth guided missile destroyer commissioned to the Indian Navy? The correct answer is INS Morumbi. More details on the screen. The second last bonus question. As per the United Nations deal, what percent of the planet is sought to be protected by 2030? The correct answer to this question is 30% of the planet is sought to be protected by 2030. and the last bonus question which state or union territory generated most number of jobs under the pm egp scheme in the current fiscal year the correct answer to this question is jammu and kashmir okay jammu and kashmir so with this we complete all bonus questions as well now in the next section uh, let's uh, see some important dates okay so please have a look in the screen to some important dates and persons in news places in news everything okay so please have a look important dates persons in news places in news
these are the countries in use So now we have important news. So this is it. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to SSC Second. Bye-bye.